All right, what's good, y'all? It's your girl, Miss Talented. Um, I'm about to do another kind of like, um, I guess, tour of my studio equipment. As you can see, I've changed locations because I'm back at school in the dorm room. So that explains why I'm running, why I'm running all my stuff off of a laptop because it makes it easier and more portable for me to move my equipment and move my stuff since I'm still in school. I'm working on a desktop probably when I go home, which should probably be like a Mac or uh, I'm not sure what it'll be. But let's jump right into it. The microphone is the first thing we're going to start with because a lot of people have, a questions, have questions about this microphone. This is the MXL 990. I bought it for $50 on eBay. It hooks up with a regular mic cord. Um, like I said, it sits right here on the shock mount and everything. And I run my microphone through Pro Tools, the inbox. You put, hook up your mic cord and hook it up to the other end. Explaining the microphone cord. You can get a microphone cord from, I bought this one from Radio Shack. I told you that in the other video. But you can get one from Radio Shack, just about any of the music equipment store. I think I bought mine for like... 12 maybe $15 or so somewhere between 15 and maybe 25 I'm not sure how much it was it wasn't very expensive at all so that's the MXL 990 and my stand my microphone stand is something else I bought off of eBay just something pretty cheap I mean it's uh, it was like 30 bucks it was really cheap so this I mean all my studio equipment I mean it is very I guess you could say high tech sorta but when you put it together, you don't have to spend an arm and a leg on everything if you shop at certain locations. Now, normally, this one would have ran, when the time I bought it, it would have ran maybe 130 or so or something like that. I'm not sure what I checked on. Okay, next we're going to go into my MIDI keyboard, which it is an Emu X board. See that? Emu X board. has control wheel and everything on that, knobs, the whole shebang. This hooks up, it can hook up one or two ways. You have a MIDI hookup, you have right here, you have a MIDI hookup, you have a regular USB, you have the on and off cable, and then you have the power adapter and you have the foot switch, which you can you can add a foot switch to this. I never did because I just don't do that, but you can add that. This board, ooh, dropped it. This board cost me about 130 on eBay. I bought it. I guess last year, maybe a year, yeah, a year ago, year and a half ago, and it's pretty good for, I mean, for what it does, you know, it hooks up, I run it through FL Studio, I run it through Reason, and it hooks up easily, make your beats, do whatever, um, you don't have to hook it up like I did it, I use a USB and plugged it right into the back of my laptop and ran it that way, but you don't have to do that. Um, the next item I'm going to go to is the inbox. I have an inbox which is by Digi, Dig, uh, Digi Design Pro Tools and I have the Inbox 2 LE 7.4 now I was told that you needed 7.4 or newer to run on Windows Vista which is what I had to do now I know a lot of y'all hit me up and be like hey you know what I'm saying I have 7.3 I have 7 whatever it's not hooking up to Windows Vista I don't understand why yours is working to my knowledge, that was the version that I was told over the phone that I had to get. Call in before you buy any equipment. Call in and just ask the people. Ask DJ Design. Say, tell them what kind of laptop you have and tell them this is what I want to get. You know, can you tell me what version is going to run for my computer? Tell them all of that. How much you want to spend. You can even go into Guitar Center, Sam Ash, those type of places and just ask them, you know, tell them what you're looking into to get. And this, when you buy it, comes with this box right here. Comes with this and it comes in this box and inside this box is oops inside this box is a whole lot of um sorry a whole lot of things that you that you're going to need reason adapted uh other other equipment things that it's like a bundle type package and it comes with a lot of stuff in your your cd for it to install it which is pretty good <clears throat> i bought this yet again something else off ebay but i bought it from a dealer so it was the original price basically um next we're going to go to my speakers or monitors as you say these are just some m audio studio file 3 studio pro 3 it's something that i clearly need to upgrade on but i haven't did it yet these do me for now and they're perfect size for me to move my equipment like i said earlier so i run with it these actually my dad bought these from a pawn shop 
which is show y'all it does not take a lot of money to make a studio or to make you know your equipment to get your equipment together or to get you started if you just starting out don't go out and spend an arm and a leg you got to learn and start from the basics before you can keep upgrading my first stuff i had was fl studio the speakers which he bought and surprised me and i think he got these maybe what a year and a half about the same time and it was like about what was it 40 bucks or something like that i got that and i got the keyboard first so that's all the stuff i got first and then i worked my way up next thing is my mpd i have the mpd 32 and this is good it runs through usb hookups i'll show y'all the hookups because y'all always ask about that type of stuff and you can hook it up through midi i'll run that through usb I do have a MIDI cord. Um, I'm trying to start hooking up stuff more on that type of thing. It has faders and all that stuff. And these pads you can push. It's good for sampling. I know a lot of people use it to sample. It has knives and it can connect right through FL Studio and Reasons as well. Reason as well. So this one's good. Um, let me show y'all uh, kind of like an example of a cable that I bought. Because I'm really trying to go into detail with this. I bought that off of eBay from a dealer too but if I mean getting it from a dealer is going to be close to original price but it's not as expensive this is a a cord that you can use to hook up some of your stuff as you can see it's a cable cord and it's for MIDI so that's another idea that y'all can kinda play with whatever um the la the next thing I'm gonna get into is this I just bought this it's the Yamaha MM6 this is a great keyboard it's called a synthesizer I mean I'm learning stuff about it every day because I don't I've only had it for a week so I'm trying to um, run it through Pro Tools and all that stuff and I, that's why I got the different cables I haven't really sat down because I'm back at school I haven't had time to really go back into it but let me show you all the hookups for it. it just like the other ones it has your regular hookups where you can hook up the power outlet on off button hook up your phones which is where I have my speakers hooked up for right now um, you have outputs foot controller sustain and you have MIDI over here you have your USB over here so you have the same hookups as you have on all the other equipment um, let me see what else can I discuss see if I'm missing anything I explained to y'all in my other video how I run my stuff I make my beats and then I just bring them in to, I try to mix them in FL Studio and then I bring them in the Pro Tools whenever I'm going to rap on a beat or whatever, whatever. Um, some people, like a lot of people track theirs out, which I'm just starting to do that because, like I told you, I do my recording at a different studio. So most of the time I'm taking, I track my beats out and take them to the studio. I never track them out here with my Pro Tools because I do use my Pro Tools mainly for a lot of like covers or things I'm trying to do, you know, over another beat or so. Um, I hope this answered all of your questions. Let me see. Oh, you, um, let me think. Somebody asked me a question about external drives. I do have a, a little external drive, and it helps with keeping, I save all my beats and all my Pro Tool sessions on this. Like I said, I'm running this off a laptop, so it doesn't have a lot of space like most computers might have but it holds up well for me to run Pro Tools. I have Reason on here. I have another program called Mixmeister and I have um, FL Studio on here. So my laptop runs pretty well for it to have all them programs running and I mean that's all I can think of. That's all I have. Uh, if y'all have any questions hit me up and I guess I'll do another one of these videos. Check out my other two studio videos. Hope you learned something from all three of them. This your girl Miss Talented. Um, sorry I couldn't show my face. My hair is wrapped in. Please go get my album May 4th. It's coming out called Table of Contents. Mainly produced by me except like a couple of tracks. And I'd appreciate it. Follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com backslash Miss Talented MC. And I'm out.